Hi, welcome back to the channel and the Jira admin series. Today I'll talk about the field configuration. In my previous video, I have talked about the screen, how you can create your own screen and then associate those screen with the issue operations and after that the issue type. But in this video, I'll talk about more about the field configuration, how you can manage the behavior of your fields. Like if you want to hide or show some fields on your screen, then how you can do it. And if you want to make it some required and optional, then how you will do it. You can do it with the help of the field configuration we'll talk about how you can create the field configurations and the field configuration scheme so without any further ado let's jump right into the video and see how we can do it and if you haven't watched my configuration screen video then i will mention the link in the description box you can go and check it out you can also find the screen video here when you will come to my channel and click on the playlist under the jira admin tutorial you will click here and you will find the configuration screen video here now we'll come back our jira instance and to uh, check where you will find the field configuration setting it should necessary you have the admin access as you know this series is about the jira admin so i'm assuming you have the jira admin access if you have a jira admin access then you can see this setting icon in the top right corner when you will click here and click on the issues in the uh, left sidebar you can see the fields option here where you can see the custom fields field configurations and the field configuration scheme in my previous video i discussed about the screen and screen schemes now i will come to the custom fields here i have already created a video about the custom fields where you can go and check it out what is custom field how you can create the custom field and then how you can associate those custom fields with your project when you will go in the same series here you can see there is the fourth video in the series where i have talked about the custom issue type you can learn everything about the custom issue type here now we'll come back here again and I will start from a very basic what are the fields actually in Jira. So when you will create any issue, let's suppose I'm going to take example here. When I will click on the create button, the create issue screen is uh, here and you can see the project issue type, parent, summary, component and the attachment. So these are the fields here in the Jira these are the issue fields and the jira fields help you to collect the necessary information about the issue so these are the fields in jira now i'm gonna cancel it when you will come to the field configuration so what is the field configuration actually field configuration provides the ability to change the field behavior and essentially it tells jira how to handle a particular field for example, if you want to hide a field, if you want to hide that particular field from some input screens and some view screens and you want to make them require or optional, then all these kind of function you can achieve with the help of the field configuration. Here you can see we have a table here where we have three columns, name, field configurations and the action. In the name column, we have the name of the field configuration and in the field configuration scheme, we have the name of the field configuration scheme. Now you have a question in your mind, what are the field configuration scheme? Don't worry, I will explain it. Here we have the actions where I have the configure, copy and the added action here. If the particular field configuration is already associated with the field configuration scheme and that for field configuration scheme is already associated with the issue type and project then you will not find a option to delete that particular uh, field configuration so here we have the default field configuration the jira service management configuration and many more we have the config copy and edit button and here we can see the field configuration scheme now i want to show you what is inside the field configuration so i will click on configure you can click here or you can click here it will open the same page here we have the name of the fields screens and the action there are the four action here you can add it the field you can hide the field you can require the field and you can associate the field with the screen with the help of this screen option here so we, there is a actual 
end field uh, and the description of the field is enter when the change actually ended and this particular field is associated with these screens these are the name of the screen and we have an option to edit it hide required and we can uh, associate and deassociate from the screen with the help of this screen option and let's suppose i want to see it okay this particular default field configuration is associated with the six project here so let me make some changes so that you can see actually what is happening here so i will take an example here about the attachment field i will search the attachment this is my attachment and here you can see the attachment field is associated with these screens and we have the three options we can add it we can hide and we can uh, associate and deassociate this particular field with the screen now i will uh, open the aap project here okay go to the project and then click on this aap project and now i will click on the create so that i can create a one issue but here i want to show you about the fields this is the aap project and the issue type is task now here you can see there is the attachment field is available now as this aap project is using the default field configuration i want to hide this attachment field i will click on this hide and now i will come again here i will click on cancel i will click on the create again and now you cannot see the attachment field here this is how you can show and hide the field in the field configuration now i will take a, another example here let's suppose i will go with the field priority i will click enter this is my priority field and it is required right now but i want to make it optional when i will click here and uh, you can see there is a priority field which is required there is a red asterisk here but i want to make it optional i can go and click on the optional now i will come here and i will create the issue again i will see the priority field is optional now there is no red asterisk this is how you can make them required and optional now there is the another option which is screen i will click on the screen and i want this particular field should not be aap scrum default issue screen i will uncheck it and then i will hit the update button now i will come here i will cancel i will click on create and you cannot see the priority field here so this is how you can select the screen and show the fields and if you don't want to show then you can simply deselect it but i'm gonna make it available again i'm gonna check it and click on the update i'll come again here cancel okay i'm just want to check the priority field is here now you can see this particular default field configuration is working for all the issue types how you can see this you can go to the project setting you can click on the issue option sorry uh, you can come here in the issue and then click on the fields here you can see this particular default field configuration is using the eight issue type here so for these eight issue types we are using the default field configuration now i will take an example how you can choose a different field configuration for one of the issue type and maybe as many as you want so i'll i'll show that but here i want to tell you like the field configuration scheme help you to associate your field configuration with the issue type here you can see the field configuration scheme defined which fields apply to this project and which field is applied to which issue type so basically now we will come again here and i will click on the field configuration so that i can show you how the field configuration looks like so this is the field configuration we have this table name project and action and again we have the four action configure copy edit and delete 
if your field configuration is not associated with any issue type or a project then you can delete it otherwise you can't and here we have option to add our own field configuration scheme but i want to show you how it looks like from inside when you will click any of the field configuration screen you can see for all the unmapped issue statuses means all the issue types that you have is using the field configuration this one and here you have an option to associate an issue type with the field configuration now what we will do we will create a one field configuration from scratch and we will see how we can associate this field configuration with the issue type using the field configuration scheme we'll come again with the same section which is field field configuration and one more thing that i want to tell you about the custom fields you can create your own custom fields and use in the field configuration we have the system defined fields as well you can use them but if you cannot find the fields as per your requirements you can create your own fields with the help of the custom fields and then use it in the field configuration so here we have an option to add the field configuration when we will click on add field configuration you can enter the name and description and click on the add button but again i would suggest you can copy any existing field configuration and use it because it is pretty hard to create a blank and then add each and every field and set their behavior so it's better to copy the existing field configuration and then make the changes according to your requirement here we have the field configuration what i'm gonna do i will click on the copy and i will change the field configuration name here i will choose the one project type which is i have the project list so what i will do i will design a field configuration and then i will associate the field configuration with the type project list now i'll come here and i will write down the field configuration aap project list field configuration i will make it copy and paste it in the description and click on the copy now i will configure this particular field configuration i will click here and now i want to make it the priority field required i will click required and i don't want the attachment field okay i have already hide it that's pretty cool uh, or maybe i want to show the attachment so i can click on show one more field that i don't want which is epic link i don't want to see it in the time of the bug creation and then i can click on update and i want to make the component field required okay i want to make it required so i'll click on the required so i have configured my field configuration now i will go to the field configuration scheme here and this time i will create the add field configuration from scratch so that you can see so this is the aap project list fill configuration scheme i can copy the name and paste it in the description and then click on add now we have a option to associate an issue type with the field configuration for all the unmapped issue type it will use the default field configuration but i want for the issue type project list it should be use aap project field configuration and then i will click on add okay so we have created a field configuration we have created a field configuration scheme and then associate an issue type with the field configuration now what we will do we will associate this field configuration scheme with the project aap so this is our aap project and when you will go to the project setting come to the fields which is coming under the issues drop down here in the right corner you will be able to see the action where you will find the two option added fields and use a different scheme 
with the help of the added fields you can add it those fields that you can see and with the help of use a different scheme you can choose the scheme so i want this one associate here you can see for the project type project list it is using the aap project list field configuration but for the other issue type it is using the default field configuration now it's time for testing we will click on the create button and for the task i can see there is the no attachment field here and the priority is optional that's great now i will click and choose the project list here ideally the attachment field should be there here you can see the attachment field should be there and the component field is required as we made it in the field configuration and i when i will go down you can see the priority field is also required you can see the red asterisk here and there is no epic link because i already make that hidden in the field configuration so this is how you can create your field configuration and associate them with the uh, issue type you can change the behavior of your field and you can make the other settings like hide and show on a screen with the help of this now the next question is how you can delete the field configuration scheme and the field configuration so first of all the first section that needs to perform is you have to associate the different scheme here if you want to delete this one because if the screen is already associated with any screen scheme or a project you cannot delete it when you will come here in the field configuration here you can see the aap project field configuration is associated with this project list configuration scheme and when you will go to the field configuration scheme then here you can see the aap project field configuration scheme is associated with the aap program means aap atlassian am program project here you can see so first of all you have to deassociate it from here then you will be able to find a option to delete this particular configuration scheme and in a similar way to delete the field configuration in the jira admin series we have covered so far about the issues issues type workflows screens fields and in the coming video i'll explain the forms issue features issue attributes and the other options as well like notification scheme permission schemes and the issue security scheme i have covered also the system product settings this is pretty cool if you haven't watched these videos then you can come here and watch the other videos about the user management and workflows you will find all the informations about the workflows and the other stuff i hope you understand the concept of the field configuration and if you have any question then don't forget to ask into the comment box below and if you found this video useful then give it a thumbs up and subscribe this channel press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about the latest content thank you for watching this video have a great day